Hi folks, it's Ralph with Stray Benzes here. Today I got an issue where the mileage counter, the day counter and the regular mileage just won't turn any numbers anymore. It stopped working. I'm still getting speed. I'm going to show that in a sec. And here's also a way of how to get to the root of the issue and how to fix that one. I'm not sure if you can see it, but the uh, autometer is working as far as showing speed, but the mileage does not change. It doesn't budge. So the gears are most likely busted on the inside. Here's the first tool that you need. I would suggest you disconnect the battery in order to not fry anything electronic in the back. You take this uh, hook and make sure you've got the stinger wheel all the way extended. And insert the hooks. Turn and Sometimes it's a bit tough. It's got ones to come. This one is a little bit more in there. There we go. And there you are. Pull it to about here. And now you're going to disconnect all the wires, the uh, the plugs, indicator light, lights, etc. And then we're going to take a look at the back because most likely that small little gear is busted. Sorry for that. And then we're going to take care of it. So with the instrument cluster removed I can now remove this part that contains the part that most likely is busted carefully remove uh, this is light I need to remove the temperature indicator the display screws That's a total of four Just in case you're interested, these are two out here are the ones for the lights. If you want to convert them to LEDs to make your instrument cluster look uh, nice and bright, there's another video on the channel. And carefully. so gingerly pull and here it is these are gonna stay put later on when I reassemble it these will go in first uh, in reverse order and now I can take a look which one of the gears is no longer working 
uh, and we'll give that a look and it may be very difficult to see but I I think I see a couple of broken gear teeth all right well indeed I did find the culprit and you can it is yeah it's too you can't see it from there but there's this tiny gear that's broken so we need to get into it a little bit further which means we're gonna have to remove all the lights that's one for the turn signals all right and then I need to loosen these four screws here be careful not to damage the bezel This one wasn't doesn't quite quite want to come out but I'll be right back it was this little clip here I just needed lifted and now the unit came out now that I have that don't lose these uh, these will need to go back in those there are four of these I go here 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 and here but uh, the next thing I need to loosen up is this cover here because that is what's holding up covering the gears in the back here there are two screws that hold that in place one here one here and now I can remove this plastic cover this gear oh, remnants of the other gear stuck in it and last but not least this little gear here and that's also where you can see uh, on. how busted that is if you can see that half of that gear is missing so I need to get that off of there and then there is a replacement gear that I have right here I get mine from parts geek I have to say I'm a little disappointed this thing here to cost me about 30 bucks with freight and all um, it's a bit much but it's better than uh, <laughs> <laughs> running around with a busted uh, um, Arometer all right I'm gonna fiddle around with my little gear here and then show it to you once I've got it out All right Here is now the new year. We got it installed If you look carefully This gear is missing teeth. So Unfortunately, I'm not done. I actually need to get this down gear too. And here is the really busted small teeny dying gear. Um, and it, based on how this looks, 
folks if you have noise coming from your gear drive just change out the, the gears here it looks like somebody sprayed some either um, yeah some sort of grease lithium uh, some something and I can literally feel how soft this this material got because of it so if you if you have gear running noises don't do this don't try to lubricate this because these gears they're per they're permanently altered somebody put something on there and it softened them so here fortunately I have a spare uh, a spare intact uh, odometer that I can actually use uh, as long as it takes to get this uh, second gear so I can put this back together but once I get it you actually reassemble this Here it is exactly how it has come apart you put the screws back in you put this unit back into the the main plastic cover make sure that you have the spacers that go in there like so and well then you put your whole uh, autometer back into the instrument cluster and by the way you don't have to take the lights out i did just as a precaution but you don't necessarily have to take that out but that's that's really all there is to it so it's really coming down to this teeny tiny gear here uh, if there is no indication of speed it's usually that big center um pin right here that gets voltage and the signaling down from the um transmission uh, one of two things either you are not getting that signal from the the transmitter down in the in the transmission or this unit is the fact and here uh, this is not the case and as with many things here check the wires because the a ground fault will usually give you all kinds of electrical grimmings around the instrument cluster so good luck here I have a unit that is intact the gear is in perfect shape so it's the second one nobody messed with it so that one is going to go in until I get the other one and then I'm going to fix that one good luck with yours I uh, yours I hope that you got some value out of this video but don't be afraid there is not too much that can go wrong and after everything else is done reconnect the battery reset your seats your your memory seats and that is it and the radio of course bye well i did get this set of gears here from uh, a company that i provide you the link with very inexpensive um brand new gears i'm gonna replace the old ones here see how this one got sprayed with something and it really softened that up and uh this actually is an extra one that gear is already on there this gear goes there you go it goes right there blue one goes right there like so and this is one is back in operation I can finally put the cover back on And now I can put the this one back together also again the it's better to also um, throw out these gears you can maybe see it it is missing a couple of teeth here as well so don't 
don't, don't only go for this gear. Just get it done and over with and get the three gears. All right, with that, good luck and happy ranching.